Today we're going to talk about the best credit cards to earn you some cashback and miles for your bus rides and MRT rides. And as a bonus, some of these cards also work with Grab and other taxi apps to get you cashback and miles. If you've read the news recently, you'll know that public transport fares are set to increase again by about 5 cents per ride. And this is about 3% increase from the usual fares. So if you have a good card that gets you some uh, additional cashback or miles, you can actually offset the price increase of your public transportation and save a little bit on cost of living in Singapore. I think it will be useful for you to figure out how much you spend per month on public transport so it's easier for you to plan out which card is actually suitable because some of these cards actually come with minimum spend. For me personally, I think I spend anywhere between $100 to about $120 per month because I have multiple workplaces but I also have some uh, days that I work from home. If I average it out, I think it will be about $100 to about $120 per month and that should be what most working adults spend on because $2 times 2 trips a day uh, times 6 days a week, you will come up to about $96 to about $100 after the price increase. So yeah, I think $100 is a good gauge of what a normal working adult would spend in Singapore. Now, if you consistently spend more than $130 per month on your bus or MRT rides, I think you should uh, actually buy the concession pass for $128 per month and you get unlimited uh, bus as well as MRT rides. So that uh, might save you more money than actually spending uh, yeah, per trip basis. There's actually no registration required for you to use your credit card uh, to pay for your train or bus fares. All you have to do is just tap it against the reader and you're in, right? But if you want to manage and view your transactions in greater detail, you can sign up for a Simply Go account at this URL. From there, you can link up your cards and look at each card's transactions in greater detail as well as file for claims in the event where you use your phone to tap in and then use your watch to tap out, right? You actually get a double charge in case you did not know about that. So stick to one device and if you need to make any claims, just go to the Simply Go website in order for you to file a claim if you have been double charged for whatever reason. The first card we have is the UOB1 card which gives you 10% cashback or so they advertise. But if you go and calculate, the maximum cashback you can get from this card is actually 8.33% because there are some cashback limits. And if you base it on about $100 of uh, public transport per month, your realistic cashback is around 4.33%, which is uh, the base cashback of about 3.33% and some bonus cashback that it gives on Simply Go transactions. So unless you're spending all of the $500, $1,000 and $2,000 per month on this card on public transport rights and uh, things like Shopee or Grab transactions, which gives you additional 10% cashback, uh, your cashback rate is likely not going to be very high. At most, you'll get about 4 plus percent per month uh, if you use this card as your shopping card as well as a card for your public transport expenses. The conditions for this card, okay, you need to spend $500, $1,000 or $2,000 per month consistently for three months in order for you to get your quarterly cashback. And it will work only with uh, simply go transactions, meaning bus and MRT, and does not work for cabs. Moving on, we have the DBS Live Fresh, which also uh, promises 10% cashback, but the maximum it will ever get you is about 6.88% uh, because there are cashback limits to each of the category on this card, and the maximum cashback you can get from public transport rights is about $15 per uh, month. However, realistically, again, we will not use so much public transportation, so based on about $100 per month, your effective yield is about 5.83%. Uh, that's a pretty decent rate, I guess. And if you're already using a DBF Live Fresh for your normal ordinary expenses, right, the added uh, cashback on your Simply Go transactions are icing on cake. So I think this is an okay card for people who want to have a relatively fast free experience using their card because all you have to do is spend $600 per month and you have to split it between online and pay with transactions. The higher cashback rate will only work on bus and MRT and there's no bonus for taxi or uh, ride hailing apps. Now this video is brought to you by Weibo and you can use my link satisfy.com slash Weibo to sign up and get yourself fantastic goodies such as free shares. Weibo also currently gives you 0% commission as well as let you trade from as low as US $5 per trade and therefore you can uh, lower your cost by a lot and trade with small amounts. Uh, and you get free shares to kickstart your investment journey. So I really thank Weibo for sponsoring this video because without sponsors like this, I don't think I will be that hardworking in making videos. So thanks Weibo again for sponsoring this video. Next up, we have the Maybank Family and Friends card, 
which gives you an advertised 8% rate. And guess what? It's a rather honest card. You can actually get 8% from this card. And also the realistic cashback you can get is 8%. But you must meet the criteria of $800 minimum spend as well as you need to select transport category for the Maybank family and friends card and spend within eligible categories. You should check out my review on this card for more information on the different categories. But if you can meet these uh, requirements, you can actually get 8% on your uh, transportation rights. And uh, it is not a gimmicky 10%, but watered down to 4.3% or so, like the UOB one. So if you're looking for something with an actual high cashback rate, and you are able to meet the criteria for Maybank family and friends, this card is very good to give you high cashback on your public transportation ride. And on top of that, it also works for taxis and not just trains and MRT. It also works with taxis and not just trains and buses. Next up, we have the UOB Evo, which promises 8% cashback, but the realistic cashback is 6.67%. And realistically, you should also be getting 6.67% cashback from this card as long as you can meet the minimum spend of $600 on PayWave and online transactions. So uh, if you are spending about $100 plus dollars per month on your public transport, you still need to meet uh, the remaining $500 on PayWave and online transactions. And this will work uh, with bus, MRT, as well as taxi rides. We now have the City SMRT card and from the name of it, you expect it to be quite good, right? Uh, it advertises 5% cashback, which is pretty decent. And you do get 5% cashback from this card as long as you meet a minimum spend of $500. Aside from your Simply Go transactions, you should spend online as far as possible because the 5% earn rate of this card is given on online transactions mainly. And if you spend it on offline, non-eligible transactions, uh, you only get 0.3% cashback for those expenditure and therefore uh, you'll water down your 5% cashback uh, significantly. This card also works with taxis and ride-hailing apps, so it's not good only for MRT despite uh, its name. It's good for MRT, buses, as well as uh, taxis. The last card I have on my cashback list will be the Stanchart Smart Card and it advertises 6% cashback and the maximum and realistic cashback is also 6%. The only condition is that this earn rate is only valid until the end of 31st December 2022 and there's no word yet whether or not it'll be extended. Personally, I feel that this card is already uh, not that great because it gives 6% cashback on only a very specific set of merchants and if you remove this earn rate there's really nothing left to the card so i expect it to be extended next year uh, but stay subscribed to my telegram group for more updates on this card uh, another catch is that you actually need to gain enough points in order for you to get the six percent cashback because unlike most other cashback cards which just gives you the cashback at the end of the month this card you have to redeem the points for the cashback and there is a minimum amount required. So while there's no minimum spend per month, you actually do need a minimum amount of points and it might not be uh, realistic to gain this much uh, points by the end of this year, depending on how much you spend on public transport and the other merchants that uh, Stanchart Smart Card is eligible for. So do take note that this card is not the easiest to use despite its lack of minimum spend. The Stanchart Smart Card's higher earn rate also only applies to bus and MRT, taxi rides, not included. The Stanchart Smart Card also kicks off the list of mile cards that are good for public transport rides and its earn rate is 5.568 miles per dollar which is a rather awkward uh, amount but it is the highest miles earn rate uh, around and again there's no condition aside from the fact that this earn rate is set to end by the end of this year so you have to use this by the end of this year and there's no word whether or not uh, it will be extended so uh, yeah, just be aware that you can gain a certain amount of points with this card and then realize you have not enough to claim either cashback or uh, redeem them for miles. Next up on the mouse list, we have the UOB Ladies card. Uh, sorry gentlemen, but this card is only for ladies and it earns 4 miles per dollar as long as you select the transport category for your areas of spend. Uh, so yeah, it's a pretty good card. It also gives you for taxi rides and not just uh, public transport. So if you are a lady and you have this card, Select transportation category and you can get 4 miles for your transport expenses. Another card you can consider for collecting miles would be the Maybank Horizon card. And this gives you 3.2 miles per dollar. And there's a criteria which is you must spend at least $300 per month. Uh, but it doesn't have to be all public transportation. It can be any other spend as long as it's not excluded. And this will work for public uh, transport including MRT, trains as well as taxi rides. So this is a good choice for men who don't qualify for a UOB ladies card 
and you are worried that standard smart uh, earn rate will not be renewed after end of this year. Uh, 3.2 is not too bad a rate, I guess, although personally speaking, I'll be looking at one of the cashback cards instead. The last card I have on my list will be the Chris Flyer UOB card, which gives you 3 miles per dollar, and the only criteria is that you have to spend $800 per month on uh, SIA group transactions, so that includes uh, booking flights on Scoot, Singapore Air, buying things from Chris Shop. Okay, as long as you spend $800 within the year, you will get 3 miles per dollar on your uh, public transportation rights and that also includes taxis. The UOB Chris Flyer card is actually a pretty interesting card because it has no limit on the 3 miles per dollar spend. So it's actually quite useful for people who are looking to buy big expenses. Okay, you can see a video that I've done on cards that are good for big expenses. And I think it can also be a very decent one card strategy for a lot of people who are not that um, into managing different cards and just want to use one or two cards. I will have a video reviewing this card uh, pretty soon, so stay subscribed to my Telegram and YouTube channel to see the video. Now, credit cards change all the time, so subscribe to my Telegram group to get all the latest updates and deals on credit cards and all things personal finance. Also, go and check out this other video where you can find out more about uh, this credit card and how it can actually value add to uh, collecting a lot more credit card rewards for yourself. And I'll see you in that video.